What a hit guys, we just landed a really, really good sell. What's going on guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be creating my first episode for the Flip Life series. Today we're gonna be going to a couple different garage sales and I'm gonna show you guys some of the tricks that I do to make some extra cash. So again, I wanna thank all you guys for supporting me on this movement. If you guys aren't following my Instagram, I show all my videos daily of how I'm flipping stuff and making some extra money. And anytime, especially during the holidays, is always great to have some more cash in your pocket. I think that's just someone's door open. I'm here with my beautiful wife. If you guys haven't watched our video, I just posted our wedding video, so make sure you guys check that out. But back to this. 7.52 in the morning, and we're trying to find this one. Yeah. All right, let's check this out. So garage sale number one was a bust. Garage sale number two was a bust. Might have something here. Since it's been raining here and it's really cold, most people probably aren't gonna wanna set up since it's like a retirement community. So we're doing the best we can with what we have. But again, guys, just patience is the key. So we're gonna continue looking. Hard to film because a lot of people do want to be on camera. There's a hunter looking for some prey. We may have scored something because he's been in there for a few minutes, so we'll see what he comes back with. I don't know if you guys can see him right there. So what I think he's looking at here is possibly like mugs, plates, or frames. Like we said earlier, it's a retirement community. A few moments later. It's probably been like 15 minutes, so we may have hit a jackpot. It's like a whole box, what the heck? This is exciting, guys. Look at that smile, look how happy he is. Patience is definitely key. Mugs, coffee mugs, Hammonds. Coffee mugs. They're at every fucking garage sale for 20 fucking five cents. And they're all worth four to thirty dollars. It's fucking ridiculous. So we have the first uh, mug. I got eight of them. 25 cents a piece, which was, I think, a pretty decent deal. So I'm gonna check really quick. Usually I like to just wait until the end when I get home, but if it's, like I said, they had multiple um, of each mug, so if one really goes for a nice high amount, it's worth going back. Conservation Pioneering, 1937 to 1977. So this guy had a lot of duck stuff. So let's see. Doesn't really look like there's check the sold items. All right, so it looks like this might be not necessarily a bust, but it's not looking good. But you never know. The mug could go for. I mean, it's a cool mug, huh? I mean, like if you're into ducks, it's, it's cool. I was gonna say is that military, but it's hunters. Yeah. He had a whole bunch of stuff. He said you could take each one for like five bucks. And I was like, well, I'm okay. Sometimes like too many deals is not. So let's see, here's some duck stuff coming out. And this is cool because you start end up learning about a bunch of different like topics and things that you had no idea about. Well, all right, that's spending too much time on that. So let's just try another one, just one more. Let's try this one. So hummingbirds, I'm sure this, I can probably at least get, I would say about five to 10 bucks for this one. Yeah, I think it would be easiest just to look this up when we get home. I think this is it right here. Right as we were gonna stop. Yeah, it's right here. That's the mug. 
So let me record this a little bit so you guys can put it on the screen for you guys. So here's the mug. Now, again, you don't want to go based off of what you're seeing on the screen, what's for sale. Like, I get it. What I do is I end up just screenshotting it, keeping it, and then really the real idea of what you're trying to do is you have to see the items that were actually sold because anyone can list it for any price i can i can list that mug for a thousand dollars right now if i wanted to but as you see nothing in the past it looks like maybe three four months have been sold of that sort um but again i don't know why i keep saying when your mugs usa but again guys i mean i picked it up for a quarter and I can, I'm looking right now, I could probably sell it for maybe 15 to $20, so it's a come up. We got two back to back. We got this first one over here and one right across the street over there. Henry really bought something like five minutes into the sale. It's the fastest one yet. Just wanna say how cool Henry looks holding a doll. Yeah, well, so Very I wasn't manly. gonna pick this up, but it was 50 cents. And Nicole said to go back and get it, and it's going for about seven dollars right now. I'm just looking at some prices. Um, got a lot of different things too. I mean, I got a couple. I don't really know who this one is specifically, but it's a Disney character. And I got a couple Care Bears. So I'm just gonna keep looking these things up, and I'll let you know how it goes. The Blue bagel? Beagle? Beagle. Yeah, Beagle. I don't know where that's Probably at. Probably that way. If you are wanting to yard sell and you're actually the one hosting the yard sale, make sure you put up some signs that are easier to read. I'm arrows. Not... Arrows are everything. So driving to yard sales is hard when you just see little words. Like the colors are awesome because you can see and they capture your attention. But sometimes there's too much. Yeah. That's, so that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm trying to find a street, but I don't know where in this development it's at because there's no arrows. Again, guys, it comes down to just building, I would just say arrow boxes. <laughs> um, and again, definitely try and use your Amazon boxes because you know Amazon's amazing. So let's get back to this. All right, guys, so I'm looking up these Care Bear. I'm sure someone's gonna want some Care Bears. Paid 50 cents for each and then again, I have no clue who this is, but again, major key with this is you're gonna want to look for this specific tag, the Disney tag. And again, sometimes they'll be like official tags. Um, those will actually go for a little bit more, but for right now, this is great. It's an actual Disney. Really, anything Disney will always sell. That's one of my key things to always keep in mind, but don't quote me on that. I just have gotten such great luck from it. I'm very grateful Nicole and I were able to pick up the G7X. I don't know if I've talked about it. This is the vlogging camera, but it's working great and the autofocus is amazing. Definitely recommend if you guys are trying to get into vlogging to go ahead and pick up a, I was going to say a mic, pick up a camera like this. It's so easy to take it with you everywhere you go and it's got that flip up lens so it makes it awesome. You can see each other or see yourself I should say, um, but we're still trying to find this garage sale. So, we'll let maybe, you know when we see it. Maybe they forgot they were having a yard sale. Probably. So, we just came to like the nicer area in town and I found this like hidden yard sale and this lady had boxes of the Starbucks mugs and she's traveled all over the world so she has a Starbucks mug from everywhere so we bought a box for $5? Yeah, bought an entire box of mugs for five bucks and then I picked up this guy especially since it's holiday time people are gonna go crazy over these mugs and again this is this is a Starbucks mug what a hit guys we just landed a really really good sell we got a bunch of Starbucks mugs and if you guys know me and you have been following Gary V as well mugs are really a key item we picked up all of these mugs for well the whole box was five and then I grabbed three extra that were other um, collect your items for six bucks so we paid eleven dollars for a ton of mugs so check it out so all of these mugs and again these are coming from various countries like this one's a Cancun um, Starbucks mug again I showed you guys we have the holiday mug this is probably gonna be a really good seller especially with the holidays around um, I did pick up an Arizona 
special mug as well, Starbucks, two bucks, probably can resell these things maybe for 15 or 20 a piece. Um, and again, we got um, one from Hawaii, and again, it just, the lady apparently traveled all over and just collected all the mugs, so we got some money right here. This is a gold mine. Alright guys, so those mugs, we just looked two of them up right now. This bad boy, got it for $2, is going for $30 on eBay. So, again, easy enough. $1 and it's going for $21.20? Yeah. yeah, so $20. So, Not too bad. it's just that easy and we'll go ahead and throw in shipping. I've had some problems in the past with shipping mugs, but now I have kind of figured it out of what I need to do. So, again, these mugs just are money makers and you can't beat it for the price you pay. Oh man, I'm all about it, so let's just keep going. All right guys, after looking at these mugs, we're gonna go back and get the rest because I'm looking at these mugs, $40 just for two bucks. This is insane. There's another, there's a Houston mug that the lady was selling. There's so many different things out there you can purchase and to be able to get it for a relative cost, especially at, we're not even, we're not even doing the episode of Goodwill yet. Like that's just gonna set it off, but garage sales guys you can have 20 bucks I think today so far I've had I withdrew $40 and again you don't even need that much money I have you know even 20 bucks even five dollars I think we started and I had like five bucks in quarters $5, yeah, so quarters. you know forty dollars right now for today is really good honestly I, I get such a thrill off this rather than and I was telling Nicole too right now like yeah hitting the lottery would be so much fun and I couldn't imagine with all that money but being able to work so hard at something you really want like this is a completely different high. You know, I get such a thrill and rush off this because I know that for a quarter, you can flip something and you can make $20. So I want each and every single one of you guys, if you're liking this video and liking this content so far, give this video a thumbs up. We're gonna continue seeing what we can find today. So continue watching. So we're coming up to another garage sale and we're gonna see how this one goes. So this is probably like our eighth garage sale, I would say, or yeah. more. Um, so small town, again, retirement community, and I think that's really how we were able to land these coffee mugs. The lady traveled all over the world, retired retired folks, so um, definitely that was a win. So let's check this one out. It's currently 10, 10, and we've already hit up quite a few spots I'm thinking this one's probably the last one we're doing for today. It's close by where we live. This is what we're looking at. Let's see. So yeah, we'll see what we can get. All right guys, so we just got back home. We spent around 30 to, not even $40, spent about $30. And I'm looking at some of the stuff and it's gonna be wild. We got some Starbucks mugs, we got some movies, we got some stuffed animals. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how much everything is going for and how much I'm posting it for. Again guys, I hate to keep saying it's super easy, but if you're struggling to find a couple more bucks in your wallet or you know, you're really just wanting to make a difference in your life to get you know every weekend, maybe anywhere between 100 and 500, in this case, I'm roughly estimating 800 to a thousand dollars that we just made today spending around $30 so again guys you can't land a huge jackpot every single time but there's definitely money to be made even if it's just 10 or 15 bucks so and so I want to thank you guys again for watching so let's go inside and see what we got today all right guys here is the before and here's everything we got today all right guys, since this is everything, I'm gonna go ahead and do a price check and I'm gonna let you know roughly how much all of this stuff is gonna go for. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I take my photos, not with that sticker. Um, I'll try and get good lighting because for the picture you're gonna want good lighting. So I'll go ahead and take the front picture, take an inside picture because people wanna make sure the inside's okay the bottom just showing the type of series it's in and then I'll also do the handle because some people are very picky about their handles and that is it I'm gonna actually do the back because I forgot this has a back to it upload those pictures to eBay as soon as I 
upload my item. Um, again, the more pictures you have up there, the better, so that way it gives people an idea um, of how your item looks, you know, before you actually sell it. So pictures will make or break your sell. I'm gonna go ahead and post this up. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And we're gonna go ahead and end the video right there. All right guys, so as soon as you get photos of your product taken, you're gonna go ahead and pull up eBay, either on your computer or on your phone. In this case, I'm gonna use the app on my phone. So I'm gonna go to eBay. Then I'm going to type that item that I'm wanting to sell. In this case, I already have it plugged in, so I'm just gonna hit it. And then I won't really base any of my numbers off things that are on the first screen because that can be really false for um, the actual amount you're trying to get for uh, your specific item. So I'll hit filter, go down to sold items, and this will give me more of a realistic number of how much I should sell my item for. In this case, um, the first one that pops up is this $29.99 mug, and I think that's the one I was gonna go for originally. So I'm gonna hit on this one, and I'm gonna hit sell one like this at the top. From that point, the pictures that you just recently took, you're gonna go ahead and upload. So I have them already taken, so in my photo gallery on my phone. And then I'm gonna add all the photos. <clears throat> Again guys, like I was saying, a picture can make or break your item or something that you're wanting to sell online. So I encourage you to take good quality photos and definitely take the time to make sure your item is clean if it's a little bit dirty or if it's scratched or whatnot, you definitely want to let your customers know because I mean, I wouldn't want to get something that's dented or scratched or ruined. Um, and if it is, it's okay. You can just let your customer know, you know, see photos. If there's like a dent, that way um, you're just being more truthful and upfront with your buyer. So hit done. Down here, I usually leave this um, blank unless it's like a confirmed order, uh, like some of my Supreme stuff, but that's for a later video and I'll explain that as time goes on. So this is the, you know, the Starbucks is exactly what it is. I'll just hit done. And I usually leave the category alone. As long as you hit, you know, sell like this, it's gonna show that. If not, you'll just kind of put what it is in there. This one, condition it's used. In the description, I usually put little notes about the mug. I try and buy things that are already kind of in good shape because I don't really want to mess around with like damaged items, to be honest with you. In the description, I'll put, you know, used Starbucks mug. Mm, see pictures for more. See pictures for a better understanding of condition. Okay, it's just something simple. I always like to put something in there, um, and even you know, I, just because me, I love customer service. I'll just go ahead and put you know, like happy holidays. Sometimes those small things help your item sell. Starting bid, I don't really, I've never really liked the whole bidding thing on eBay, so I specifically like to go to the buy it now stuff. They use like the smart system, so it shows the price that definitely item could be sold at between like the average of everything. So I'll just go ahead and bump it up again to 28 bucks. And from there, let me just check something out. 29.95. I'm gonna actually go for $29 to be honest with you. And we have one, a quantity of one. Now this is where if you had multiple quantities, you'd go ahead and type them in, We're done. And then shipping, sometimes this is where you, if you wanna include free shipping, if your item is, let's just say you have like a little stuffed animal and you wanna get 20 bucks out of it, you know, you don't wanna charge 20 bucks plus five shipping. So I usually will just do, hey, either 15 for the item and five for shipping or just do 20 with free shipping. It's kind of like the same thing. So in this case, I'll charge a fixed amount. I'm gonna go ahead and do 13 bucks for shipping, because I know usually with mugs, it costs me around $12.90 to ship one. So I just will say 13 and then keep priority. I don't really mess around with the package details or any of that, because like I said, I since I've been doing this so long, I understand what it's gonna be. To be honest with you, you don't really need to worry about any of that stuff unless you're you know, shipping with maybe UPS or something like that. But even in, even then, 
when you add the tracking number, when someone does confirm their purchase, it will ask you what service you use. So UPS, FedEx, um, the post office, whatever. So from there, hit done. For this, you go ahead and hit list your item as soon as it's done. You hit the little selling tab at the bottom, hit the active button, and it looks like it needs to be refreshed. And there it is at the bottom. So there's our mug. As soon as this thing will load. There's our mug right there. Um, I'm already noticing a little flaw where it says 16 ounce. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to instead of a zero, I'm just gonna put that, that O on it. Again, guys, little things matter. 16 ounce mug. And then revise it. So if you made like a typo or something, you would just go back in there and do the same thing. It doesn't really take your, it, or actually it doesn't take your uh, product off the market once you do something like this. Uh, just make sure when you do finish making any changes, you you know go through the whole continue what I just did. And say for instance, your item, you no longer wanna sell it. You'll just right here, you'll hit that end item. It'll ask you what's the reason. You could say, you know, it's no longer for sale, it's damaged, it's been sold somewhere else or whatnot. So that's how I put my items on eBay. And it's worked out so far. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment down below. If you guys are enjoying this so far and it's being very informative to you, hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe. I'm gonna do more Flip Life episodes in the future. I'm going to let you know roughly how much all of the stuff we bought today is gonna go for. And I'll let you know right after this.